My name is Chennai Mukumba. I am the Policy Research and Advocacy Manager at TJNA. So what have we been able to accomplish over the past few years? I would say a significant amount. Firstly, we are the only um, civil society organization that's working at a regional level, a pan-African level, um, on the issue of tax justice. One of the things that we've been able to do over the years is really mainstream this conversation across various um, areas of work. Um, and so at national level, we have a number of civil society organizations that are our members. Many of these civil society organizations have never worked on the issue on the issue of tax, but over the years, we've increasingly started to show them the interconnection and the importance um, of having tax be a part um, of, of their particular area of work. So we've been able to influence a number of different spaces as TJNA. Um, as an institution, we work at three different levels, um, at national level, at regional level, and at global level. At national level, I'd like to say that we've been able to work closely with civil society organizations that in turn have then worked with their ministries of finance um, or various other ministries in order to bring this discussion of tax justice to the fore. At regional level, we have been able to bring together members of parliament and create what we've called the African Parliamentary Network on illicit financial flows and taxation, um, and really get them to see what other MPs are doing in order to curb illicit financial flows, um, as well as advocate for tax justice. At the global level, we've really been pushing for increased space for African governments to contribute to discussions around the reform of the international financial architecture. And so I would say at these different levels are um, ways in which the institution has been able to, to play a role um, in advocating for reform. So in the upcoming years for TJNA, what I really see is a double downing of work that we've been doing for the past few years. Um, if you take a look at our strategic plan, really we have extended um, the work that we've been doing. So we intend on continuing to um, work on our four different areas of work, uh, tax and the international financial architecture, um, tax and equity, tax and natural resource governance, as well as tax and investment. These will remain our four core areas. I'm also really excited though, because based off of previous conversations, we're likely to start working on tax and gender as well. Um, this has previously been a cross-cutting issue, but um, taking a look at the way in which tax has direct implications on women and their welfare, um, we've decided to see what a standalone pillar that just focuses um, on this area would look like. So currently, as an institution, we have presence in about 26 different countries. Um, ideally, for me, it would be fantastic if we had presence, if we had national members in all countries across the continent. I think the issue of tax justice, the issue of promoting progressive taxation is something that we feel that citizens, um, all African citizens, um, should be cognizant of um, because of the direct impact on their lived realities. We feel that civil society has a very key role um, in advocating for this with their various ministries of finance. Um, and so the extent to which we can have presence in all of these countries, have active civil society members, have um, a mobilized public, I think for me would be would be ideal. Um, for us as an institution, um, tax, tax justice is not a standalone issue. It needs to be interconnected to various other issues in order for it to have very specific relevance. And so we invite partners, we invite um, institutions and members um, from across different areas of work to approach us to see how we can link um, the work that they do um, with theirs. So it would be fantastic you know, for any institution to reach out and for us to have a conversation to see how we can work together, how we can identify synergies in order to um, really um, improve the work that we're both doing um, in our respective areas of focus. So there's a number of different ways um, that partners can collaborate with, with TJNA. Um, if you're a civil society organization at national level, get in touch with us. We have a network currently of about 44 different civil society organizations. We're always looking to expand our membership base. Um, if you are an individual and you see the extent to which this has direct impacts on yourself and you also want to be engaged, um, we do a lot of public mobilization work. So we would um, ask you to get in touch with us. We would get in, put you in touch, for example, with a local civil society organization um, that's a member and you can become a part of the work that we're doing to that extent. Um, we have four different areas of work um, and so there is always um, a point of entry regardless of the work that you're doing um, that we think can really help us work with different partners um, to advocate for tax justice because as I, as I mentioned it speaks to every different area of life.